The last time I harvested cucumbers, I harvested 19 of them. Guten yardening everybody! Well, we are in full production mode here at Guten Yardening, and I wanted to give you a full tour, but I'm gonna make this really special because we're gonna have our youngest yardener in training give you her version of our yard and tour. Now, there were a couple spots where she asked me a particular variety of plant that was growing, and I answered her, but beyond that, well, you'll see. If you enjoy her video, leave us a comment and let us know. We love having our children involved in this experience. Welcome everybody. Today we are going to make a kid only tour and we are going to be showing the first part of our garden which is the front yard. Right here is our marigolds if you can see them and our sweet potatoes. We have cauliflower which is over here and we have Brussels sprouts. So what I see in here, so I see little Brussels sprouts, if you can see them. And if you look at the bottom, they seem to get bigger the way you go down. So these are our tomatoes. These ones are still green, but we are about to go over to the ones that are nice and ripe. These are ripe tomatoes. And these are called raptor tomatoes. Beside that, we have okra. They produce very pretty flowers. If you look in the inside, it's a nice and it's a little pink tone. What are those? Those are the actual okra. If you can see inside of there, there's a Japanese beetle. So we harvested our cabbage. Now we only have two. If you get up close, you can see cabbage forming. So this is our cauliflower. My mom, she blocked it off using this, with this string right here and tying it up. So the cauliflower inside does not get burnt. So this is our fig tree. It produced some figs last week and the f just for a fun fact the figs taste like watermelon but their skin is bitter here are our apple trees and i love apples as much as i love watermelon just like we talked about at the fig here are our pepper plants even though i don't care for them they are still good to cook with so this is our grapevine you can see it's crowded our whole entire arch like look at this how do you think you would be able to walk through this and play a whole entire jungle if you get up close you can actually see some of the grapes they look pretty ripe but they're actually not the ripest because they're still sour. This is a really weird cucumber, but I love to eat cucumbers. Feel that nice breeze? So this is our path. It leads a long way. It's still like a jungle. So we have squash, grapes, flowers, and m most of all, lots of bumblebees. So right here is our squash. This is called Canadian crookneck squash. I think it's called that because look at the squash. They look weird. The squash looks like an onion except for the top is very wide. And it's the same color of the onion. So right here I just discovered that there's a squash that is green and yellow. It looks like the yellow squash with the green squash combined it together. Or possibly a squash combined it with zucchini. So if you see, there's actually strawberry spinach. So strawberry spinach looks like spinach and it has a fruit that looks like strawberries. And the fruit tastes like veggies instead of looking 
and instead of tasting like strawberries. Why is it all over the place? It's all over the place. It's because it's coming from the bird's casting. If you can see these tomatoes, they are ripe. And they might look so juicy and ripe, but they have splits in them. I think we left them here too long, or the critters ate that part of them. I used to not like tomatoes, but now I eat them. There's a whole bunch of tomatoes here. Do you think we're tomato rich or cucumber rich? So this is called kabocha squash. It looks like pumpkin and squash mixed together. And it's the form of a pumpkin, but it's squash. So if you see right here, you may be like, is there two growing together or are they squashed by the fence? This one actually, it was growing right here when suddenly it got split in half because the fence cut it. So when we try to harvest this, I think we will know what we will have to do. We will have to cut into the middle and then eat it in parts. So this is called delicata, and once again, it looks like the squash over there I saw with the yellow and the green, except it's striped, and it's like the color of this for this part. On this side, we have a nice big watermelon. So I believe this is a sugar baby watermelon. And right now it's so big, puffed out. It's like a nice breeze. Do you like it? I do. Right here is our corn. So this is our corn, and we have a little bit of ears of corn starting right here. This is called the corn silk. Mm. It feels like nice pieces of silk. So this is our potato bed. They're already flowered, and they're tipping over a bit. Before long, this will be ready for our potato harvest. So this is our hay bale garden. As you can see, here is our tomatoes, our lima beans, and eggplants. So if you can see right here, I pick one of these. You can see the lima bean is just flat. I normally like the beans that are not flat, but I'm just giving an example of the lima beans. So over here, you can see these big, puffy, nice eggplants. So these are normally the size that we would pick them at. And you can see there's still a bit of green on the bottom, but still, this is the side we would pick them at. These are our sweet potatoes that we grow in our hay bales. And look how big they're getting. They're like almost the size of my hand if you compare them. So right here are our blue potatoes, and they're blue when you pick them. And we planted so many of these, like, just like covering the whole entire walk space. And there's more than I can even count. So these are our cucumbers, and how you would pick them is you would go over here. Normally, if you're not working with any tools, you would take them and twist them until the stem comes off. Or if you're working with tools, you can just snap them off. The last time I harvested cucumbers, I harvested 19 of them. We have lots and lots of beans that the Japanese beetles come over and eat the leaves. Look how much they munch them. They munch them to type where they don't even look like they exist. They look like they're... They look like they're turning to vanish. So we have lots and lots of tomatoes again. And next door, we have a whole bunch of cauliflower. Just look how much there is. This is like a kale forest. So this is chamomile flowers. And how you do it is you can actually make it for tea. How you make it for tea is you pluck off the tops with your you use you pinch off the tops and you pluck
put it in P. So the wind blew around our squash and our onions so hard, and they even knocked it over. As you see in there, our rondonese, they still survive, and the onions. This patch of our garden used to have strawberries, but now has kohlrabi. So right here is some of our raspberries, and they're producing some right now, but soon they are gonna produce a whole bunch. So this is more of our colored greens and kohlrabi, the same as we have on the other side. And right beside that, we have some more raspberries. But these are just pink raspberries. So right here, you see that there's another watermelon. Something ate this watermelon and my mom said she thought she knew what it was, but she didn't know what it was called. She said it was red. It was kind of like a red otter, but she doesn't think red otters live over here. So over here used to have some carrots. There's a link in the description of another video how you should pick carrots. Watch that if you don't know how to pick carrots. And the tip to see how big they are. So there's some broccoli. We replaced it with broccoli. And there's some eggplant, which was here before we had the carrots. So this is our purple potatoes. And they're starting to die back. But they're still going to take a while until we get them to be harvested. So you have two really nice beds of sweet potatoes. And there's a whole bunch of different varieties. We also have a whole bunch growing in containers too. This is our compost garden. And the melons and the zucchinis grow so quickly here. So these are our carrots right here. And this is our most shaded garden. So right here, I'm just looking for a couple. But right now, I'm not doing any carrot videos. Just a normal tour. Even though it's shaded, the beans are doing great. We're growing um, celery in a couple of places but it's doing the best in the shady garden. So this is our green stuff garden and it's growing red, white, and blue potatoes. And over here, it's growing strawberries. Right now I see a ripe strawberry, but I'm not ready to pick it right now. I'm gonna share it with my mom. So right here we have squash and tomatoes for this part of the long garden. So we have more of the squash and we picked some of them too. And we also here, we have cucumbers. So this is my mint. This one isn't mine, but if I can lift this one up, this one's mine. And you can use mint to make tea. I love my mint tea. And this is our patio garden. We have different types of summer squash and tomatoes. These squash are replaced be because they got eaten by the squash vine borer. These are garlic chives and they're really pretty and the bees think they're pretty too. And the soldier beetles, they help eat the aphids on here. So this is a very good flower for the garden. So we're gonna end on this pepper that is about to get ripe. So just remember, like and subscribe. And most importantly, when you're with us, you are good to grow.